So I'm Harriet. I'm Ben. And uh, together we farm in partnership at HB Farms. Just outside Ellen in Aberdeenshire. We're a pig enterprise and an arable unit. Uh, so we combine just under a thousand acres. We also run two environmental schemes um, and a couple of diversifications such as a horse enterprise that Harriet runs and a solar panel uh, rental. We have um, 450 sows. Uh, we're breeder finishers, so everything's finished on site. And basically we're self-sufficient in what we grow on the arable side um, to feed the pig enterprise. Well, for me, I sort of grew up on a family farm sort of was never really pushed into farming from mum and dad, so I went and did a, a uni degree uh, in geography. Sort of wound my way back into uh, a job within the agricultural industry. So I was a farming consultant for about six, seven years. I'm not actually from a farming background. My granddad was a farm manager, so I just always wanted to be a farmer. Worked from a 14 year old on farms, uh, just roguing wild oats, sweeping sheds. Uh, left school, still wasn't sure of my career path, so I went and worked on farms. We always knew that one day we, we wanted to farm, and and maybe it was like a couple of years too early for us. You know, we just bought a house down in Perth and both had careers sort of down there. But yeah, it was just sort of, it was too good of an opportunity not to have a go at. Put an application in for the tenancy because it was an opportunity we couldn't really miss. We put a tender in for originally a five year SLDT new seat of Dumbreck, which is about a 400 acre, mainly arable unit, it was an ex-dairy farm. Um, so yeah, put the tender in, sort of didn't really think we were going to get anywhere. <laughs> uh, and then we got an interview um, with sort of a panel of about five people, so it was quite an intimidating process. Um, and yeah, they, we were very lucky that we we got awarded. We got the chance of the tenancy, it was five miles away from Harriet's mum and dad's farm. So there was, there was expertise as in Harriet's dad's a farmer, so he had knowledge of the area and how he could help us a lot. And we just, we just took a chance. The support we've received uh, while securing our tenancy was uh, through bank managers um, and colleagues. We were both quite lucky that our roles were within advising in agriculture. So we'd built up quite a lot of knowledge ourselves and had contacts within the organisations we worked within. So that was very useful and a bit cheaper. Like we're quite passionate about the industry and we want to be good at what, at what everything that we do, we do it well. Always improving and we always, like our main business ethos is, is question everything. Like why do we do this? Why do we do that? Is it the right thing? And even more so now we've got the pigs, you know, welfare and the people that work with the pigs and the welfare of our pigs are you know number one. Future sort of we're looking at renewables right now the farm we're on right now with the pigs we use a lot of energy so we're looking at solar panels for the roofs. Uh, we've had sort of two years of you know establishing a new business uh, and you know having a bit of a crisis so limited cash flow so it's only now really we can sort of start to think about the future and not just firefight for the present. We're looking more at carbon footprint um, as a group, as a Scottish pig producer group as well. Uh, we want our pork to be sort of branded as um, you know, environmental friendly. We want to make ourselves more efficient. You know, we've used tools such as carbon footprinting and, and other audits to find out what's the low hanging fruits, what can we improve quite quickly. Um, Alternative proteins as well. We're we're looking a bit at different feed sources, so um, using beans and lupins and things like that a little bit differently. I think initially, when you're a you know, sort of new entrant to the farming world, it's, um, it's knowing what to do and knowing the right things to do and who to ask and what people you need around you. And I think we're very lucky that we've had really good people from the beginning you know, around us, um, whether that be advisors, bank managers, um, mum and dad, you know, for support. Um, when we took over the pig business, um, the, the guy we bought the pig farm from, you know, sort of mentored us as well. So it's about having that good people around you to, to sort of help you through the challenges. I'd say as a business, cash flow is a massive problem for agriculture. 
everything, everything is a year ahead, so you're investing now for next year. Uh, so the crop behind us, for example, a lot of our inputs were purchased 2022. Uh, and then by the time they go through the pig enterprise, it'll be 2024 before we see a return on that. So, so we've been lucky enough to have uh, bed and breakfast contracts and uh, jobs outside the farm business to help cash flow the, the whole farm, our, ourselves, our lifestyle. I feel as a, as a new entrant looking at securing tenancies, it's important not to fall at the first hurdle. So personally in my journey, uh, I made four or five attempts to get in, into farming and that was through tenancies or contract farming agreements. And each time I took different lessons away and I learned more how to build a, a successful application. Yeah, and I think um, don't be scared to take that risk and don't think that you, you might not get it. We're farming here because we enjoy what we do. It's, it's a great lifestyle and it's a business that we love doing. Yeah, I think we, we do it as well because we like, we're proud of you know what we produce and we know um, our pigs are well looked after and they can you know be part of the food chain and we're proud to say that they are.